Good morning, people of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. I just wanted my little one to share his scripture for this week with you all. Well, first of all, if you want to share last week's scripture, so every week my son gets a scripture um, that he is to meditate on every day of that week. So last week's scripture was Let everything that has breath praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Amen. And I believe that's Psalm 150. <clears throat> and this week's scripture is For I resolve to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Oh, one more time. One more time. For I resolve to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. My God. And what does that mean? That while I was with you. While you while Paul was with the people, he knew what? Nothing, right? Nothing he knew nothing. Jesus. Wait a minute, wait a minute, stop right there. He didn't know nothing. He didn't know anything. He didn't know anything. The man was one of the smartest people among them. He was born a Pharisee. He studied the scriptures intensely day and night. But he decided that all the scriptures that he had studied, which was all of the Old Testament that he decided that he was literally dumb in his mind he had no information in his brain except one thing and what was that one thing that he knew honey jesus christ and him crucified <laughs> glory to god <laughs> glory to god doesn't that make you excited doesn't that make you so excited and doesn't the joy of the lord well up in you like a a, a a a tsunami i don't know nothing else except for christ hanging on a cross glory to god for me for you for you i don't know nothing else if you ask me any question all i know is that my savior was hung on a tree all i can tell you that's the gospel i got the good news is jesus was alive he loved you. He loved me so much that he died and hung on a tree. Not only did he die and hang on a tree. Not only did he die and hang on a tree. But he was beaten. Isaiah 53, 5, which is one of my favorite scriptures, says that he was beaten for us, for our iniquities, for our transgressions. He was bruised. And the punishment that bought us peace was on him. And by his open, gaping, fleshly wounds, where they ripped his skin off of his body, we are healed. Are. Are currently. In the present tense. So I just wanted to share this week's scripture for the little one because I am so excited to resolve even with everything going on the on in the world, even with everything, all the, the back and forth between saints and ain'ts, between the people of God and the not people of God, and all the things going on in the world, in every country, all over the news, all of the this and the that, I resolve to know nothing else except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And to God be all the glory. Please have a wonderful day. And may the eyes of your hearts be opened to the things of God so that you can glorify him in everything that you do this day. And may your gifts be sharpened. May your spiritual sight and hearing be sharpened today. In Jesus' name. Amen.